this thing. I take my pre workout. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where's your pre workout? This is for the two of you. Good flavor, lemon drop. Talk to me that. Shit, I put it behind the drink. Ooh. Yeah, it's good. Oh, that's just good. Alright, don't try don't try this at home. Only at the gym. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm a trained professional. <laughs> Alright. Pre-workout. Shoot it with bang. You see my face. Uh, see my massive ass forearms. Back hurts. Damn, dude. I felt fucking chubby today. Alright, guys. Yeah, me too. I was like two pounds up. 222 this morning. I'm gonna take you guys to a leg workout. Sit back, enjoy it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. What is up, guys? Thank you so much for joining and watching this video. This is a leg workout. Um, super simple workout. Everything was about three sets of eight to 15 reps or four sets of eight to 15 reps. I'm only going to show you guys the one set of each workout. And so we started out with, well, to start out, start, okay. So let me start over to start out every single workout. I like to do walking lunges, something that is for the legs and allows me to just warm up the entire, um, all the you know the hamstrings the quads the calves um, more importantly that uh, definitely the knees I like to warm up the knees there's me staring into the camera um, but and then I like to get into the workout um, so the first movement was quad extensions uh, leg extensions I call them quad extensions and then I did goblet squats which are probably my favorite movement right now this was super lightweight 55 pounds I uh, did this for four sets and then we moved on to straight leg dumbbell um, deadlifts, Romanian deadlifts. Um, actually, as I watch this video back, I can definitely see my form is broken down on those. Uh, sorry about the extremely white legs. Um, one thing that which you guys probably don't need to know, but with me, uh, I don't really, so a lot of people uh, deal with acne. I don't really have any acne issues, but all the acne I do get is on my legs. So that's why my legs look really, really bad. And extremely white because I don't tan that part of my legs um, but you can start to see not striations but you can definitely see the quad separation and the hamstring separation uh, deeper deeper into the diet I'm starting to see uh, more of a you know the benefits are starting to get shown now from dieting and working out you know six days a week cardio pretty much every day or every day we go to the gym we do at least 30 minutes of cardio um, this is a smith machine this is I got this from uh, Julian Smith his feet are actually closer to each other um Mine are whiter, but it's for the quads. And then we finished off with the hamstring movement, and then we did some calves. Um, but that was about it for the workout, and that's about it for the commentary portion of this video. Um, make sure you guys stay around for the end of the video where I get into a pretty uh, touching topic, something that's super emotional to me. And I think a lot of you guys, especially people who watch this video right now, can relate to. Um, yeah, it's something I've been wanting to talk about for a while, and it's going to answer the uh, the title or the the question in the title of this video, or the statement in the title of this video. But uh, sit back, guys, enjoy the rest of the vlog, and stay tuned for the end of the video. I'm sitting here watching an online coach. I'm going to turn that down real quick for you. Um, I'm sitting here watching an online coach video, and I'm uh, in Annapolis right now, heading. Uh, I gotta meet my mom real quick. Gotta get a few signatures for her for something. Uh, nothing you know, extremely important. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and take you guys throughout this day. I got work at 3 o'clock, so I you know, most likely won't be showing you guys too much. But I just killed a, uh, what was it? A back workout, back and biceps, a pull workout. We're back on a push, pull, split. Push, pull, leg split right now, so we hit everything three times a week. And if you guys saw my Instagram story after the gym, I went and I did a little talk about uh, just something that was on my mind. And actually, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and just recap all that because I really wanna, I wanna explain something I think a lot of people don't truly understand. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and explain all that. But yeah, like I said, I'm off to uh, meet my mother for something. Gotta fill a few forms out and hopefully get to work on time.
which looks it looks like it might be questionable. I think there's a huge accident up here or something. I'm not too sure. But yeah, guys, um, thank you so much for uh, enjoying the last video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Um, enjoy the workout. Or hopefully, you enjoy the leg day workout. But yeah, guys, I'm going to take you guys throughout the rest of today and possibly tomorrow. What the hell? Eat a McDonald's. You can't eat McDonald's on a diet. Just watch what I order. Guarantee I can eat McDonald's and still lose weight. It's caloric intake versus caloric expenditure if you eat a calorie surplus you're going to gain weight if you eat a calorie deficit you're going to lose weight it's super super simple i'm going to go ahead get two artisan chicken sandwiches and i'm going to eat them and i'm going to lose weight i'm going to retain a little bit of water salt eat more salt than normally do, so i retain water but i will still lose weight because that's how it works so i'm going to go ahead and order my food Hello, can I get two artisan grilled chicken sandwiches? Okay. And that's it. Thank you. There we go. Go ahead and pay for these real quick. I got my bag of goodies right here. You can see that right in there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull over real quick and I'll show you guys what they look like. I'm gonna go ahead and eat them on the way home. Uh, it's it's almost two o'clock and I gotta be at work at three o'clock. I still got a shower, I gotta go to the post office, drop off a few orders. So I am running on a tight schedule here. I'm just gonna show you guys what they look like real quick. Just so you know, like the only thing that has fat in them really is the bread. So this is what they look like. And like, so for me, I'm not like a fancy, 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 fancy guy. Like I just eat whatever. Like I'll eat cold chicken, cold spinach, I don't really care. It's the bread. There it is, right there. See, nothing crazy. But I don't know, the chicken, I think is, I'm pretty sure it's chicken. I'm not too sure. Um, like, I, there would be a lot of fitness guys that say, don't eat that, it's horrible for you. But like I said, I just eat, I, I'm a macro guy, and I also get my micros a lot, but when I get my micros, it's usually later in the day. That's when I eat fruits and veggies and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, eat this up, and I think, let me just check my calories. I'm on a low, I'm pretty low calories right now. So after these, I had two Reese's at my, uh, when I visited my mom at work. Um, let me see what I'm at. So two sandwiches is 760 calories for two sandwiches, 74 grams of protein, 14 grams of fat, and 88 carbs. So I still have 1247 calories left. I have, 104 grams of protein, 122 carbs, and 36 grams of fat. Um, I'm probably gonna have a turkey burger with the uh, bagel tonight, that's kind of my staple. And then I'm gonna eat a few things at work, and then I'm, that's gonna be my macros like for the entire day. But um, yeah guys, I just wanna show you that you can eat out and still lose weight. Um, it's possible. Uh, Chick-fil-A is not, I mean Chick-fil-A is really good for you. It's, it's expensive though, like this sandwich is like $5.50 at like Chick-fil-A. And I got both, you know, it's it's expensive. I think it's actually more than that. But um, yeah, you can eat out anywhere. You can even go to Taco Bell. You just gotta customize your meal a little bit. You, you gotta put a little bit of effort in. But um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna go eat, eat these, head home, uh, shower up, and get to work. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Finished up with the post office, now I gotta head over to work. I'm gonna pick up a monster real quick. Drink that, get me through my work shift. But uh, yeah, that's basically what I do every day. So I would say four days a week, I go to the post office, I drop off all the orders. So whenever you guys make an order, I ship it the very next day. Unless it's a Saturday, it's hard for me to ship it the next day. Sunday, obviously, they're closed. And Saturday, I'm working 12 all day, so I can't ship it out till Monday. But it's always first day delivery, so if you order before, noon i will ship it out the same day but if you guys order afternoon after 12 o'clock i typically will have to go do that the 
following day. But always, I get you guys orders out as soon as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, guys, because customer service, in my opinion, is number one as a company. It's the most important thing. But let me go get this monster. I gotta head on into work. Guys, back in the gym. Just got off work. Actually, <clears throat> I got to work and there was an extra person there, so I decided to just go home. Um, someone else covered my shift, so I'm gonna. I'm actually here at LA Fitness. This isn't the main gym I go to, but I still have a membership here, and I think I'm just gonna hit arms, a little bit of shoulders, just a pump workout. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys a workout. LA Fitness doesn't like that. I, I don't feel like getting yelled at by corporate gym so go in here hit up a workout and uh, i'll see you guys right after this workout and i want to and then after this workout i want to hit the topic that i talked about on my instagram story um that's what the title says i don't know what the title says exactly but i'm going to hit that topic so make sure you stay around for that it's uh, super important in my opinion what is up guys what's up okay so this is going to be the end of the video if you guys stay this far, um, if you guys stay this far into the video, it means it means the world to me and the brand and the company. But mainly, it it shows that you guys support this. Uh, I don't want to say movement, but this I idea of what I think or not what I think, but what I know this company can be. And this is gonna be a longer clip, but it's, it has, if you guys saw, actually I can bring it up real quick. I post, I put it on the Instagram uh, July 5th, I believe. I think you guys are watching this video on July 6th. But this video right here, or this picture right here. Get that to zoom in right but right there. Alrighty, you see that picture? This picture is, I would take, I took this July 5th after my first workout. So as you're, you're watching this video right now, the previous clip you saw I was going to the gym. Um, I actually went to the gym again. I just hit everything, calves, forearms, uh, 20 more minutes of cardio. Um, pretty much I did whatever. Let's see if we can make this light a little bit better. If I move here, a little bit better. Now it's a little bit darker. Let's go over here. That's fine. That's cool. That's good enough. Um, so, th so that was my second workout of the day. But this picture right here was the first workout of the day. Um, as you can see, I'm looking. I look. I look decent. I look large. Um, I'm, I'm in the middle of a diet. Um, and and the reason why I'm pausing is I'm just reading what I wrote. And I just want to talk about. Lifting weights, uh, I guess going to the gym in general, um, being somebody who uh, I guess people look at in a different light. So if you're watching this video right now, you guys are probably the most active gym goer in your group of friends. You probably care more about the gym than everybody else. And, uh, and honestly, you probably are your goals are up here while everybody else's goals are they're, they're here um, they're not low goals but they've just they've stopped the goals have stopped and uh, what comes along with having goals up here and the reason why I'm talking slowly is because I just want to get everything out and I really want to think about what I say before I say it because um, I have a tendency to just say, say things without really like, I guess, thinking about like what I'm saying. I just kind of say it. Um, so the reason why I'm just speaking slow is because I just want to make sure I get all the information out. Um, because that post was really important to me. So, going to the gym, I've been going to the gym for five years now. First, I guess year, year and a half was for aesthetic purposes, or not for aesthetic purposes, it was because I was really overweight. I was junior, I was in senior, or I, sophomore year to junior year, I lost about 80 pounds. Um, I went from 240, 
or 230 down to 150. And I did that in three months, 80 pounds in three months. I was not going to the gym junior year. I was taking weight training class. So I was going once a week, maybe twice a week, but that was just in school. And then my senior year came around and senior prom breakfast, I, I won, I got like a gift to like a free three months at a Edgewater Fitness, which is a local gym that we went to. And um, that's when I really started hitting the gym. And, and when I started hitting the gym, you know, you see a lot of people throughout high school, throughout middle school, even into college and, you know, the real world, when uh, people actually get occupations, you find, not everybody does it, but you find something that you do so much and it it becomes almost an obsession. It becomes, you just do it six, seven days a week and, and then when you do it so much, people that are here in this world who don't understand will just, they will pound you with facts that they think they know, but they're just not true. Like um, going to the gym that much is bad for you. If you go to that gym, you, you're, you're being selfish or um, things, what another one that I post, uh, you're being selfish, it's not good for you, you need to find time for yourself. That's, that's a big one that I, I wanna address here. And um, it's not true. It's something that I battle with, and I think a lot of people battle with who go to the gym often. It's, uh, God, it's, it's hard because, <clears throat> You know, when you wake up every day and you, and, and, and the gym's on your mind, but you know the gym doesn't impact your, yeah, that's, that's what I want to say. When you wake up every day and you want to go to the gym, whether, whatever time it is, four o'clock in the morning, noon, or 6.30, you know it doesn't play an impact on your mother, your father, your friends, anyone in your family, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, it plays no impact. If you go or if you don't go, it does not impact their day. So it's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard for somebody like me or like you watching this video to go to the gym on a consistent basis because you feel selfish. And that's when people say you're being selfish. I don't think they realize that you don't. I'm aware of that. You know, I'm aware of when I get up and I go to the gym and you know, I work at a certain time and I don't see my girlfriend all day. It's it hurts. You know, it sucks. It it really does suck. But it's therapeutic. And that's that's what I want to really hit and that's what I really want to nail down here is it's therapeutic for me. Um I don't go to a therapist. I don't do a lot of things. I don't hang out with my friends and talk about my issues. I don't sit in front of my parents and talk about my issues. Um, I talk to my girlfriend about my issues. I mention a few things here and there, but the gym, the gym is, is been the place. It's been home. It's helped me form a strength from within that I never thought was possible and I never thought I could possibly obtain. And that's the obsession with the gym. It's not the act of going to the gym, but it's what you get over a long extended period of time from the gym. And that's the important stuff. Going to the gym six, seven days a week is not bad. Now, if you start realizing that Oh, you got fired because he showed up to work a few days or, oh, your girlfriend's leaving you now. She's a brilliant girl, brilliant woman, but you have to go to the gym and you're just not making any effort to work around the schedule of when you guys get to see each other, then yeah, that's on you. You, <laughs> you fuck that one up. Um, but don't ever let anybody tell you that the gym is bad and don't let them tell you that you go too much or the thing that drives me, God, <laughs> the thing that drives me the, the, through a wall is when people say you're a meathead or like, uh, I mean, I make jokes about it all the time. Like all the accounts, 45s or, you know, 
I can't, you know, stuff like that. I can translate kilos to pounds, but nothing more than that. I can't even count two and a halves. I make jokes about it, but it's simply not true. Um, some of the smartest people in the world are physically in shape. And some of the smartest people in the world, some of them are brilliant minds. I mean, this is a super vague, um, I guess, controversial uh, example, but like Jeff Bezos is the CEO of Amazon. Somebody, if you're watching this video, I guarantee you have a, you know, a uh, subscription to Amazon Prime. But this is a super basic concept, I mean, an example, but Jeff Bezos from 1997 when he started Amazon was out of shape. 2018, the man's a freaking monster. When you, when you work out a lot and you challenge your body, you challenge your mind. If you put yourself through a hard workout and you start challenging your mind, it's incredible how easy the day is after that. It teaches you discipline. It teaches you work ethic. It teaches you how to get through pain and still be on top afterwards. It teaches you a lot of valuable lessons that I think that people are afraid of because of the gym culture, which I think is getting better. It's not as aggressive as it used to be. But I, I just wanted to hit that topic real quick. I, you don't, as the title reads, it probably says something because I wanted you to click this video and I really wanted you to watch till the end because the title probably says something like, are you too obsessed with the gym? Um, it's just not true. Don't ever think that. Make time for life. Make sure your life is not falling apart because of your gym obsession, but go to the gym. It's good for you. Take care of yourself. Take care of your mind. The gym helps me up here. I don't know about you. Keep going to the gym, guys. Um, that was the video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, show some love, share it. Um, if you guys like the video, uh, let me know. Just reach out to me because I love making these and I will continue to make these for as long as I can. Um, support the company. Um, more stuff you guys purchase, the more product I can make for you. I, I mean, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna sound like an asshole, but it's the truth. You support the company, I, I invest it and I make, I will make some dope ass products for you that you guys can relate to. Um, but that's the video guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys had a great holiday. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and uh, keep in touch with the next video.